Hi, I've been asked to try and convert these, to show how to convert these NetUrosi um, programs into something that can be run in an emulator. Um, this is a good resource for NetUrosi homebrew um, games, I guess. Uh, they're mostly old, from the 90s, early 2000s, um, but they can be confusing if you, if you don't know um, how to run them. Sometimes they're packaged uh, with an executable, but it's not clear what the executable is or does. Um, so I'm just gonna hopefully quickly go through all this. I've already downloaded this one. Um, so extract. So this is like a clean room virtual machine. Um, so it sh it sh I'll go through the process. Um, OPM is the official PlayStation magazine. And I know this version, this this one is the more current of all these so that's the source that's um, uh, I'm not sure what the differences are to be honest but anyway um, so <coughs> most of these most of these net Eurosi programs are ran using this CIRO uh, it could be a batch file it, it could have any extension but basically it loads all the different files into um, into the PlayStation RAM and then it loads the executable this is a, a Code Warrior executable. It's um, they've got the Code Warrior has two formats: the PXC, which is um, um, an optimized uh, format, and then it's got like a debug version. Um, I've actually recently built and deployed um, a new version that supports the PXC, so th this will convert nicely. Anyway, um, so which reminds me, I need to download it. Okay, so to download. You'll need this. This this is what I use anyway. There's this this program. Um, it does a lot of things that separate programs used to do. And anyway, so just you click on the, the XC. Don't right click it. Just click on it, and then you click download. Um, you can download the whole archive um, if you want the source and all the older revisions. But you just need this file. So you download yarxe.exe. Um, from here, I'll put the links in the description. Um, so that is going to be in my downloads. Okay, so I'm coming, going to copy and then paste it into this folder here. Okay, now I'm going to copy this my location. This should be in your path, so put it wherever your path files are. So I'm going to cd into that folder. That's the the cd command. So the they're all the files. So basically, just see, so yeah, the DOS box isn't going to get much better, unfortunately. Uh, so, uh, yeah, exe, and then the that I, that that batch file which here is auto so um, so it stands for serial input output. Um, so auto, and then it just it just quickly does everything and it generates it. If it has any issues it'll it'll output it. Um, so you get this px psx.exe all the time. Um, so this basically you can just run in, in, in an emulator that accepts a PlayStation executable. Um, which I think is most of them. I think there are a few that that don't like it for whatever reason. So this program loads all its um, all all its assets into RAM and then runs it. It does not access the CD, which can be a problem for some of them because the CD actually does have have data. So that that PXC can can be run. I just all I did was just run it in uh, no no dollar uh, PSX. Um, I don't know how to run it on Madnuffin or Zebra. Um, these these. So usually to run it on those those emulators you need it in a in a, a CD format um, so I'll, I'll do that in another example where I know this it won't work without the CD which is terra incognita okay so download again I'm just doing this in in real time uh, this is like a clean VM um, I've removed the path to all the net Eurosi stuff so okay so terra Incognita extract. Um, I'll copy that because I'll need it. So um, these are all different versions, but they're all 
pretty much the same, I think. They're just um, different uh, screen res uh, screen regions. Um, yeah, ter so PAL and NTSC format. Int NTS, yeah, NTSC. Okay, so paste. Um, okay, I'm copying the address. I CD into that. Okay, so here again, yeah, XE. And then here it's just called auto. No, I'm not. I'm not uh, it, it didn't work. Okay, sorry, I forgot to put the quotes because there's space in the file name in the folder location. Okay, so yeah, XE and then auto. And again, it just goes through it. Um, so basically, it just combines all these files and then yeah and then it includes the executables so sometimes the Eurozy are called um, .exe because they're PlayStation format I guess and they're executable so again if I just drag and drop this into the into the into the emulator it won't run because it it starts t by checking the CD-ROM or, or accessing the CD-ROM it's I'm guessing one of the first things it does so we need this file in a um, in in an ISO. So if you need it to create an ISO, the next thing is this. Um, so this is a program that um, um, it lets you um, change files on a CD-ROM. So if I go back to, uh, so I'll actually need the executable that I just made. So back to my downloads, how to create your OZ extract. Okay, so this this can be extracted anywhere. It doesn't have to be in a path. It's just a Windows executable. Um, so uh, I'll put that here. So that's the executable that uh, the Terra Incognita executable. Um, I'm just going to show. Th there's a bin and a Q file. Um, so this is what it uses so basically you're just replacing the PlayStation executable that's on the ISO with the one that you've just built um, so this is just the dyno version uh, the dyno demo sorry um, it's trying to access the CD but for whatever reason I haven't looked at the code but anyway so that's the dyno demo so we're going to replace the dyno executable with this executable um, and if you read the instructions all you have to do is rename your executable with with this with this name with uh, with the file with the same name I should say so yes um, now I'm just extracting that program like I said this program can be anywhere um, you just need to access that that Q, Q file and the bin so I'm just launching it okay so now I'm gonna tell it I'm gonna tell it where to find that that ISO so it's back one so this is it here this is the dyno demo that I just showed and there's that file so what you do is you go uh, import file so you're importing that file that we just renamed which is this one so now it's asking because that demo is a bit bigger than the the program that we just uh, converted it's saying do you want to pad it with zeros um, it, I don't think it matters but I always say yes okay so it's imported correctly I'm not sure if this uh, the save as I think the save as might overwrite the, that dyno demo I'm not 100% sure but anyway um, so this is I'll just call this Terra and it'll create um, so this I just leave to default which is um, it should already know what format it is and everything else. So that's creating a Q and bin file on the desktop. And then there it is. So now I'm just starting it in, in Nodolan PSX simulator. Now this should be the um, Terra Incognito. Okay, so this is the the Japanese I don't know what version it is. Yeah, it must yeah, it is the Japanese version. It's a little bit different to the the English version. I don't know if it's an earlier or later version. 
Um, but yeah, it's it's working fine. So I don't know what's why. Oh, I've got to press. Sorry, I've got to press start on this one. Anyway, so it like I said, it accesses the the CD-ROM. So it's okay. Uh, I just want to check. To, I'll go back to the queue. I'm not sure if it overwrote the dyno demo. Curious. We can close it with. Oh uh, yeah, it did. That's pretty crap. Uh, anyway, um, so that's that's how it's done. Um, yeah, it's pretty. It, it shouldn't be too hard. Um, all you need, so most, like I said, most net Eurozy files, you look for the batch file. It looks, they look similar like this. Um, yeah, you just want to run the the yar exe with the auto, with that auto or, or this batch file, or whatever it is, and it'll spit out a um, a psx dot exe, and then it's just a matter of either running that or putting it in in an ISO and that's it hope everything works out thanks